Hello, today I want to talk about the Basenji duck, which is known as a breed of duck without barking. So please join me. The Basenji, the African duck without barking, is a compact and intelligent hunter with a sweet face. They are unique and tempting pets and are the best choice for owners who can meet the exercise needs and training challenge of this flying duck. There are also self-confident and independent dogs that are considered hunting dogs and depending on whether they are male or female, they are between 41 and 43 cm tall and weigh between 10 and 43 kg. Their lifespan is 13 to 14 years. Basenji sometimes doesn't see the need to take orders from humans, but it can be taught how to away from a young age. Passengers are not known for their relationship with children because they prefer to entertain themselves with outdoor environments and green spaces. But if they are trained from childhood and grow up in a family environment, they can be a good companion for them. If your children are mature enough to understand the conditions of the dog, origin of Basenji goes back to continent of Africa. These dogs are known for being quiet, so they bark less and less often while hunting. It can be said that this dog is one of the oldest in the genus dogs in the world. Basenjis are beautiful, fast and sharp dogs that are used for hunting, but at the same time they adapt to living in apartments. Basenji is known in Africa as a dog that doesn't bark. On the other hand, Basenji loves to play and if you want to play with him, the best game for them is tossing the tennis ball because they are very sharp and love to chase. They are a clean dog with almost cat-like grooming habits. If you keep the house perfectly clean, you have made their work much easier. They are also excellent watchdogs and will defend your pupil and property. Passengers' skin color is usually brown or orange with white color, but black color is also seen in them. Passengers are fast dogs and can run away from you and get lost, so it is recommended to keep them in an environment with a fence. Passing a passenger is easy because they have short hair. The passenger is known for being a low barking dog, but that doesn't mean he doesn't make any noise. As a dog, it holds like other dogs. The relationship between passengers and other pets is cold. For example, if he grows up with another cat from a young age, he can get used to him. But if you keep rodents such as pigs and hamsters, passengers are troublesome. In general, you should keep in mind that this breed is not suitable for keeping in a small yard with a container of water and food and needs more of your attention. Passengers are very lively but they can be kept in large apartments and a house with a yard is also ideal for them. Compatibility uh, and right Passengers are closer to their natural life and instincts take over them so they can become aggressive but in general if they are trained from childhood they can play with all animals even cats. Passengers claim the title of the oldest dog breed. A tell us that the first domesticated dogs were very similar to the passengers. Passengers are depicted in ancient Egypt and also traces of this race can be seen in the ancient art of Babylon and Mesopotamia. The passengers served as a semi-feral dog that lived at the headwaters of the Nile and Congo rivers. The 
people of Africa regarded the Basinji as a valuable breed as were subtle hunters with sharp eyesight, explosive speed, and a highly developed sense of smell. Basinjis then entered England and from there America in the 19th century and spread all over the world. Passengers are small and graceful hunting dogs that are 41 to 43 cm tall at the shoulder, conveying all kinds of subtle and human-like emotions. This breed is recognizable by its short shiny coat, fully coiled tail, wrinkled forehead, and almond-shaped uh, eyes. Passengers are a lovely and impressive sight when they are still, but they are even more impressive when they display their long and straight streets like a mini race horse and yes that's right they don't bark but uh, they show their emotions with a strange sound that describe as something between a poor and a yodel or yurtma. Basinjis are strict and clean themselves like cats. This breed has been called a cult breed. They are few in number, but those lucky enough to own one do so with singular dedication. The Basinji is a small, short-haired hound from Africa. Basinji has a short back and light boning, and when standing, its hay appears taller than its length. Uh, the breed carries its wrinkled head proudly on our arched neck and holds its tail high and curled. Passengers is elegant and graceful and has a very sober demeanor. The structure of this breed is balanced and the smooth muscle enable it to move with easy and agility. Basenji hunts by sight and smell. Characteristics Basenjis shouldn't bark but they are not moved. Wrinkled forehead completely twice tailed and fast and easy walking similar to the movement of a racing horse are the characteristics of this breed. Uh, Defects. Any departure from uh, that point should be considered as a defect, and its seriousness should be determined according to the degree of the defect. Passengers uh, keep themselves clean like cats and only need to go to bathroom once a month. These dogs have hair less like any other dog, but their hair is very small so that it's not visible at all and they can be trimmed easily. Nail trimming is necessary once or twice a month. If you can hear them dragging on the floor, then they are too loud. Keeping the toenails trimmed regularly in good condition will help you avoid scratching your hands and body when the dog jumps uh, intestinally to greet you. There are blood vessels in a dog's toenails and if you overbite the nail it will be bleed and your dog may not cooperate the next time when he sees a nail clipper so if you are new to dog nail trimming ask a vet start the habit for examining your dog when he is a puppy nose mouth eyes and his uh, feet and uh, ears must be checked uh, check your dog's air regularly to prevent air infections. Airs often turn red during infection. Cleaning them with a cotton ball um, monistrated with a mild uh, pH uh, balanced air cleaner is necessary to help prevent infection. If dry along the edge of the air with baby oil or uh, grease uh, them with uh, coconut oil, don't don't insert anything into the air canal. Just cleaning the outer air is enough. Passengers are healthy, but like all breeds, they are prone to some disease. And not all dogs of this breed get sick, but if you deal with this breed, it's necessary to pay attention to it and be aware. 
If dysplasia, umbilical hernia, and anemia are among the diseases that this breed is susceptible to, which I will explain in detail later in the disease section. Well, dear ones, this is about the introduction of the passing jeep breed. The next breed will be the greyhound. Thank you for subscribing, introducing, and supporting my YouTube channel, and commenting your opinions so that I can provide you with better and more content. I leave you to God for now. Have a nice day.